In today's video, we are going to build a very basic MCP server using Python. MCP stands for Model Context Protocol. It is basically a way to give your language model to access tools. An MCP server is a backend system that exposes real-world tools or functions that a language model like GPT, Mistral, or DeepSea can call during a conversation. It acts as a bridge between a language model and real-world actions. I had already done a video about MCP server, but in this video, we are going to build a basic server from scratch using Python. And not just that, I will also show you how to connect it to cloud app. In this MCP server, I am not going to implement any complex functionality. For today's demo, we are keeping it super simple. We will build a tool that takes a query and automatically searches it on Google and opens the results in Chrome. Now we can check how to build this MCP server. I am using Python SDK to build this MCP server. I will walk through the implementation of this MCP server step by step. Before going through implementation, make sure you have installed Cloud Desktop app because we are going to add this tool to this Cloud app. Also, you have to install UV. UV is a fast, modern Python package manager and project manager built to be a drop-in replacement for tools like pip, pip tools, virtual env, pip env, etc. So make sure you have installed UV. Because in this tutorial, we are gonna use UV for this MCP implementation. To set this MCP server, I followed the official documentation of MCP Python SDK. I will share the whole steps in detail in the description box so that you can follow it easily. Step 1. Create a project folder and open it in any code editor. I am using Visual Studio as the code editor. Once you created the folder, open the terminal in the current folder. I had already created the folder called MCP server and as you can see, I opened the terminal in the current directory. Step 2. Run the command uv in it. This will initialize a new python project in the current directory with virtual env, python version, dependencies, etc. Step 3. Now we need to add project dependencies. For that, run this command. It is used to add the MCP Python package along with the optional CLI dependencies to your project using UV. It is like the pip install but adds the package and updates your pyproject.toml with the dependency. Basically, it installed the core MCP library. Installed extra packages needed for CLI support. Step 4. Implementation. Once you complete the installation, you can find a main.py where we can add our functionality. For this, I am going to copy the default template from the MCP documentation. Here, FastMCP, a class that wraps FastAPA to make building MCP server easy. FastMCP demo. This creates an MCP server instance named demo. This name will show up in your toolset like Cloud or ChatGPT plugins. I am going to rename this name as Google Search. MCP tool, a decorator that tells the MCP server this function is a tool that a language model can call. Here we can find a function called add, where it can add two numbers and return the result. I am going to replace this method with our function which is open Google Search. This function takes an argument which is user's query and searches in Google. So this is the tool that we added in the MCP server. So once you give the query in Cloud app, it will execute this function and show the result in the browser. This function uses web browser and URL lib libraries to search the query and open in the default browser. Here, dog string search the query in Google, used as the description of the tool. This helps the language model understand when and how to use it. Step 4. Adding the tool to your cloud application. To add this tool, use this command uv run mcp install main.py. As you can see here the file name is main.py. If you want to rename the file to server.py, then you can do it. But the command will change to uv run mcp install server.py. Here my file name is main.py, so I gonna use this command uv run mcp install main.py. Once you run this command, the tool will automatically add it to your cloud app. And it should show the tool in the cloud app. But sometimes it won't show. To fix this issue, open the cloud app and go to the file and settings. 
There you can see two tabs, General and Developer. Click on the Developer tab and Edit Config. It will show the directory contains the cloud desktop config file which is the JSON file. Open the file in any of the code editor. Here you can see the UV command with few arguments and path of the file. In this command section, the value is UV. But we need to replace it with the absolute path of UV. In my system, the absolute path is like this. To find the absolute path of UV, you can use these commands. Update the absolute path in this command section and save the file. In Windows OS, mostly you can find in this location. Use double slash in the path when you adding the configuration. Once you do this, restart the cloud app. Make sure you forcefully stop all the cloud instance and restart it. You can use the task manager to forcefully stop all the instance of the cloud app. After this, open the cloud app and click the settings, then click on the developer tab. And if you click on the tool name, it should show in running state. Now you can find the tool in cloud app. Now let's test this tool with cloud app. I'm going to search like this. Search in Google with tame what is machine learning. As you can see, it uses our MCP tool and opens search result in the default browser which is Chrome. So that's it, we have created a basic MCP tool using the MCP server. I will share the whole code and step by step instructions in the description box so you can build it easily. We can build different complex functionalities on top of this tool. I will build more different MCP tools in my upcoming videos. So that's all about today's video. If you found this helpful, please consider to subscribe and like the video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.